So the current systems detect disease by many people getting sick, going to the hospital, the doctor evaluates them, and if they look suspicious, reports it to an agency like the WHO. So on average, it takes about two weeks to detect that a disease has moved into the human population and is spreading. Project Premonition will predict diseases before they occur in the human population by going into the environment and sampling in the environment, analyzing before they get to humans. So this hasn't been done before. We chose Grenada because it's a site where we can get an initial set of data to help us understand what does it look like if you can go into the environment and collect information about the microorganisms in the environment in this way. What we want to do is to be able to catch that mosquito efficiently at scale and at low cost. The overall goal of this project is to monitor infectious agents as they move across the planet. So in the end game, we'd like to have a global system available that detects new infectious agents and then monitors their movement as they emerge. In this way, we can intervene before they become an epidemic or before they become an infectious problem for humans or wildlife. The top three challenges are first, reinventing the devices that sit in the environment to capture samples. Current uh, collection technologies are, are very limited and, and present a lot of biases. So part of this project is creating a new trap design, a new collection design, which um, is always very exciting and will hopefully catch a much broader spectrum of mosquitoes than we normally collect. So the second challenge is getting an autonomous system like a drone to go in and out of a complex environment. It has to be safe, it has to be secure. We're bringing uh, operating systems that we know are very safe so that a drone can't be, let's say, hacked or commandeered. We're bringing technologies that analyze the software that's driving the drone um, to make sure that there aren't failures in it before we deploy it into the field. We also have deep expertise in machine learning and computer vision that give the drone the autonomy and decision making it needs to deal with these complex environments. The process to catch mosquitoes in the field with, with essentially current technologies is pretty labor intensive. Traps have to be prepped uh, before we get to the field, all the, uh, all the necessary equipment gathered and hike out or, or travel out to trap locations and, and hang the trap and leave it for the night and then come back the next day and, and take the trap down, essentially dismantle uh, the process and pull everything back in. So the third challenge is understanding the data. We're going to use gene sequencing, which will produce gigabytes of data from every sample. Um, the algorithmic challenge is how do you process the gigabytes of data to find the pathogens that are in those sequences? So right now, our ability to analyze these sequences depends on computer power. And our computer power is reasonably limited right now. And so the amount of data we can handle uh, is fairly limited. Now eventually in this project we're hoping to expand. We're looking at, to look at many different sites across the planet. And this will involve thousands of pieces of data. Then we are going to have to expand our computational power and we're going to have to have to develop new algorithms that can process the data much faster. Premonition requires a complex set of technologies. What we want to apply to achieve a goal like this our, our advanced operating systems, analysis tools to find bugs in software before they're in the wild, machine learning and vision to add complex autonomy into these drones so that they can make decisions, and then finally cloud computing and genomics so that we can at scale analyze the complex data we obtain. I believe in the next five years a system like this is attainable.